Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Pope Sue Channel and the Guitar Letter System. This is the uh, J. Marcario. Now here I'm playing in this um, altered tuning, I kind of call it the flamenco tuning. You drop the D string, you drop the low E to a D, make the G string an F sharp. Really is a beautiful tuning. It's, it could give you some really interesting chords too, like chords like this. This is a great guitar. It's kind of hard to play. But you know. I want to continue my focus of developing right hand technique because it's so easy to have a lazy right hand. You really got to work your ass off. You really have to work your ass off to, to wake up your right hand, but it's so worth it because, I mean, I'm 70 years old and I'm still improving my right hand, which is so exciting. Usually it's at night when I'm warmed up. It takes me about an hour to warm up, but, uh, you know, and it's not just for playing fast, it's for developing, playing with weight. Uh, you know, bringing more tone out of your instrument. But the technique is definitely nice to have, and uh, it seems to be a very weak area with a lot of guitar players, but you know. Anyway, so, and, and you, you know, you're absolutely going to get sick of doing this, but if you do this even just two sessions a day of a half an hour a piece, you, and, and just stick with it for six months without even thinking about it, you're going to see improvement. It may come quicker than that, but you, know, you don't, you don't want to focus on results according to the science of neuroplasticity, which is the way that the subconscious mind works. You do better if you do not focus on results. I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive to the way we're brainwashed in Western culture. But uh, so it's and, and even just simple, even just simple things like just right hand kind of pseudochromatic things like this. The trick is not to play real fast, just nice and clean. Simple things like this. So repetition is the mother of mastery. And then also doing like, you know, like five, sevens, four, like simple. I know you're saying, well, it's very, you know, if you want to see my left hand, this is the left hand is not that important for what we're talking about here. But I'm just, I'm just down here, so I'm going to put it back to make the focus more the right hand. So five. right hand begins to wake up it is really exciting and it's not just going to happen unless you put the effort into it and like I said it, it can get very redundant it can get there's times when I almost hate playing guitar although I really love playing guitar but when I do I do these sessions I like to watch basketball well I can't watch basketball now it's over I like to watch baseball and just do simple things like this sometimes I put the accent on the first note just simple things like this. Now you might not think that you're getting results, but you are. You're training your nervous system, you're training your muscles, muscle memory, your nervous system, developing right hand technique. Developing right hand technique is really important and it's one of the one of the weakest areas with a lot of players, you know. So you can kind of vary it up like I like to work little arpeggios too. Get kind of that more classical approach. Now here I know you probably would like to see the left hand here. And using arpeggios is more of a classical kind of a Bach approach.
on this one I do a lot of downstrokes. But anyway, you want to work that it's just like simple, simple things like doing seven notes per per you know seven picks per note. Like I said, this can be boring as hell, but when you start seeing results, it is really exciting. Seven notes. Let's go back to the a little more of a shot of the right hand here. So. Make up little exercises that, that are melodic. Like I made up one like this. But yeah, it's just that repetition, you know. So like if you spend even just two sessions a day of about a half an hour a piece doing nothing but this <clears throat> and don't play real fast play real clean and slow in fact, in fact when I warm up I purposely try to not play fast even though my right hand kind of wants to play fast it's kind of a funny thing it's kind of like a having a, a, a strong dog on a leash it keeps pulling you know and you kind of hold it back and then when it goes it's like wow it just explodes seven notes well that was five sorry five seven so this is going to drive you a little nuts because it is really boring but it's that repetition you know and making up making up little studies for yourself I kind of call these guitar rudiments tone pull off one once in a while you can mute so just make up little exercises and do a lot of like I said I like to use our pay shows sometimes a I don't always, you know, when I'm doing the arpeggios, I'm not always staying to a real strict up down for those. And that's okay, you know. But like I said, for, for developing the right hand, we want to do a lot of alternate picking. Simple things like this, you know. Three, you know, just three notes. Maybe vary that. The discipline that you know even though it's repetitious and boring it's that discipline but if you do this a couple times a day for a half an hour sessions a piece you're, you're going to see some results but again according to the science of neuroplasticity which is the way the subconscious mind works and grows you get better results if you don't focus on results just do the work and like I said it can even be simple things like just pseudochromatics <laughs> The more 
more you vary it up, the more you develop. So maybe one, one second you're doing this, then you're... Seven. You get the idea. Okay? So don't let that... Anyway, work. take your right hand development seriously and it will really add to your musicianship. And it's really exciting when you begin to, to develop your right hand. All right, folks, this is a beautiful guitar. I'm not selling this one. This, this is uh, J. Marcario. And it really, has, really has, a, has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sound. All right, folks, let's all keep the positive faith. Focus on positive thoughts. Don't focus on all the bullshit in the world. Let's focus on positive thoughts, positive energy, and positive faith. Remember, the universe is unfolding in time, not unraveling. Ciao.